Hi guys, so I thought I'd come to you today with a drugstore favorites and least favorites of skincare. Now, I love Origins, that's my favorite skincare of all times, that's what I always go back to, but there are occasions when I have ran out of my Origins cleansers or whatever and I've run to the drugstore and I've tried some things and um, the trap with that is I try so many different things from the drugstore because I don't know what I like because I always use Origins. So that's kind of the trap of the drugstore. It's really inexpensive stuff, but over time you collect a lot. And so I'm going to show you quite a few different things. I didn't go out and buy all this stuff like a couple weeks ago or a month ago. Um, this is stuff that I've tried probably over the past couple of years off and on. And there are some new products that I have bought in the past uh, probably a few months, but um, I'll show you that. But first, I'm going to start off with my favorite cleansers and my least favorite cleansers. So one of my favorite cleansers is the L'Oreal Go Clean. And I've had a hard time finding this one. That's why it's empty and I'm keeping the bottle so I can try to find it in a store so I can show it to people. They know what it looks like. They still sell this line, but I don't know if they still sell this particular one. It's a deep cream cleanser. I love this because it makes my skin feel really tingly and it comes with this little thing here and you can go over your whole skin and it really gets gets it really nice and clean and when I was using this product um, for a while I noticed my skin did really well that's why I want to um, try to find it again so if you guys know where I can get this one at please let me know another just straight cleanser that I've liked that I bought more recently in the past probably a couple months is the Aveeno clear complexion foaming cleanser it looks like this and this has salicylic acid because it's supposed to help prevent breakouts. And I like this and all. I like this in the morning. It doesn't really do good for makeup remover, but it does good to cleanse your skin and to get your skin nice and fresh. Um, I don't know if it really has helped with my breakouts. I don't know because I use this in the mornings um, off and on. I've used it off and on for the past month or so. So I like it, but I don't dislike it. Does that make sense? So yeah. My least favorite gel type cleansers from the drugstore have been um, the Garnier Nutritionist Skin Renew with the brush head. Didn't like this. The smell is great, but the product itself for me, it didn't do anything for my skin. I mean, it didn't really get any makeup off. Um, when I would do the, my little toner afterwards, a ton of makeup would still be left on my skin. Um, the brush head here, I mean, it's a good idea because it's kind of like this a little bit, I guess. But honestly, when you open it up and you use it, some of the product steeps back in there. And that to me is just not good. So for me, this didn't work. I don't like it. So I use it to clean my brushes or my, my beauty blender sponge. The other cleanser I did not like from the drugstore, I got this at Target, is the Avalon Organics Vitamin C. Maybe I didn't give this long enough shot, but it's supposed to help with um, uneven skin. It's supposed to help brighten your skin. And I love the smell of this one again, but for me, it just didn't seem to work. And again, I only tried it for about probably five, six weeks um, in the morning. It didn't really remove a lot of makeup, so maybe this is like a second step cleanser. Um, but yeah, I just it just didn't work for me. So that's the cleanser that I didn't like. Okay, now a couple of scrubs that are also cleansers and scrubs in one. Some of my favorites um, that are Neutrogena have got to be the oil-free acne wash it's a pink grapefruit one it smells amazing it's a great one to use in the morning and then I love this deep clean gentle scrub oil free it's for all skin types it's like a cream and I used it this morning actually so it's a lot of water in there but let me see if I can get some out it looks like this can you guys see that and it has little orange beads very nice consistency this is gentle enough to use every day if you wanted to Another great uh, cleanser or scrub that you can use um, that is Clean and Clear Advantage 3-in-1 exfoli Exfoliating Cleanser. It's supposed to help prevent breakouts, cleanse and tone, um, cleanse and um, get the deep pores clean. And you can use this every day. I really like this one a lot. Um, I haven't repurchased it yet, but if I were to repurchase a cleanser scrub, I'd probably repurchase this one because it has the... Um, benzoyl peroxide in there which is really common for um, acne prone skin to use to help clear up so I think this is really good um, another cleanser scrub mask it's from Garnier 
This is great as a mask and exfoliant. For me, my skin, I couldn't use this every day as a cleanser, even though it says you can. For me, um, I think when you have more um, sensitive skin or prone to breakout, this would be best to be used um, like three times a week or twice a week as a mask or exfoliant, but not every day. For me at least, because when you look at it, it's very pasty and the particles in here are very sharp, so you have to be careful with that. Now, just some straight up scrubs that I like. Um, it's actually just one from the drugstore. It's the St. Eyes Invigorating Apricot Scrub. I really like this one. This is another newer product I bought that I've loved. And I've only had this probably for a month, but I've only used this twice a week um, at night. Really nice, smells great, makes my skin, and it was part of the Allure um, award-winning beauty expert thing, so I thought that was nice to try. A couple of scrubs that I, a scrub I did not like um, from the drugstore is the Neutrogena Naturals. It's a purifying pore scrub. This one didn't work for me. I tried this really, I gave this a shot for a good like six to eight weeks. Did nothing for my skin. Um, it's supposed to help imp uh, scrub away impurities, help unclog pores, it has willow bark and Jehovah bead scrubs that detoxifies the pores. I mean, it smells good, but for me, this one did not work. So I keep this for if I use it on my friends or if I am um, doing like a little facials for some um, clients or whatever. I keep that in my kit. Okay, now as far as moisturizers from the drugstore, um, I have tried the Savino Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer because it has a salicylic acid in it. It kind of goes with this one here. Now this again, I mean it moisturizes your skin, but it didn't really help with my breakouts. But it's a good moisturizer so I give it that. It didn't feel too heavy on my skin, it didn't break me out, but it didn't necessarily help clear up. And maybe that's my problem, I need to just not use products that are for acne and just use gentle stuff and give my skin a break which that's what I've been trying to do like with this scrub this one's not an acne treatment it's just a basic scrub and then I've been using the um I've been using my origins cleanser that's just basic but anyway um okay one I got recently was the St. Ives Timeless Skin it's called Collagen Elastin Facial Moisturizer. This stuff is really good. I know I have oily, com combination oily skin. This is really probably targeted towards more combination dry, but I love this at night, and I think during the winter, if I feel like little extra patches, I could get them, use this during the day. And the reason why I did get this, because I've had a hard time finding it, because it's supposed to help visibly reduce fine lines and wrinkles. And if you look at the consistency, it's very creamy. And the only thing I don't like about this is putting your fingers. So what I do is I take Q-tips, if I can find them. Anyway, I take Q-tips, here's one. I take a Q-tip and I just go in the product, put it on my hand and I use it that way. That way my fingers don't get in the product, you know? So that's good. Now, um, what's another? Oh, this one here. This is Clean and Clear um, Pore Perfecting Moisturizer. I really like this because it has SPF 15. It did help with the pore because it helps reflect the light on your skin. And then um, it really is good for moisturizing. So this is a great day cream um, if you need SPF. So that's as far as face creams go. Now as far as eye cream and, or eye products, I really love the Garnier um, Ulta Lift Anti-Wrinkle Eye Roller. If you can see that. And then I, I like the um, Youth Code by L'Oreal Eye Cream. And the reason why I like these two products, they're really similar and why I like them, is because they have these silver balls and a silver applica applicator, and they're very cooling to underneath your eye when you wake up. So I love using these in the morning together because you can put this on first, let this sit and dry, and then you can add this and you can stab it with your ring finger. So I really like those products for your um, eyes from the drugstore. So. My favorite out of everything that I probably uh, mentioned to you guys from the drugstore, I'll choose one cleanser. It has to be, what is my favorite cleanser that I like from the drugstore? This one here, the three-in-one cleanser, and it's a scrub. 
I really like this, okay? And my favorite just basic scrub from the drugstore, even though I've only used this for the past month, I think, it has to be this one so far. And then my favorite moisturizer, probably, even though this one's not meant for my skin, I really like the way this feels. It's great at nighttime. Um, I had some dry patches like on my cheek, I think, because I was trying to treat some acne spots. So, excuse me, that's why I got this because I was having some dry patches from using some spot treatments. So, I really do like this one. This is my favorite so far. Um, and that's probably it um, for favorite favorites. I mean, all this stuff I liked. My least favorites, I will show you guys, are these three products here. These are my least favorites. I do not like these at all. So if you have similar skin type to me, you have, you're more prone to sensitive, prone to breaking out, um, or you're even kind of normal skin for most times too, then, I mean, honestly, these products are not worth the money, okay? Um, but the other ones, you know, give them a shot. You know, go to Ulta when they have 15% off of Neutrogena or 15% off of St. Ives, because that's how I've gotten these. And then sometimes I'll use my $10 um, off coupon or my $3.50 off coupon at Ulta when you spend $3. And sometimes Target has great deals on this stuff. And then Walmart. Walmart has great low prices all the time. So just wherever you shop, make sure you shop for deals. Again, these are things I've tried over the past couple of years. Some of this stuff is more recent, but overall... Ordin's still hand down my favorite skincare, but I wanted to at least show you guys the things I've tried from the drugstore, things I like and don't like. So I hope that was helpful, and I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye.